What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to customize your iPhone without being jailbroken. So I know a lot of you guys are on iOS 10.2.1 or you have an iPhone 7, you're on 10.1.1 and you just can't jailbreak just yet. Now, if you're not jailbroken and you want to be jailbroken, I'll put a link in the description below where I walk you through the process on how to do that. Now, if you are jailbroken, you can get a setup that looks something like this which I think looks pretty sweet. And of course I have a video on that as well in the description below for you guys if you wanna check that out. But enough about jailbreaking, this is a video about non-jailbroken devices. So let's get started. So if you wanna customize your device just like this, then you can do so, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I have a couple of different themes here that I'm gonna be showing you as well as just some more tweak-esque things or theming options that you have here with a non-jailbroken device. So before we actually get into this setup right here or even this setup, Let's go ahead and jump to stock iOS right here and I'm going to show you how to do a few different things first. So starting out here you can see that I have a stock iOS device and there's really nothing too special about this right here. So the first thing that I want to do is hide my icon labels. And this was actually discovered by iDevice Help so big shout out to him. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to check out his video. But this is a really simple process and allows you to hide the icon label. And this is a glitch. So the first thing that you want to do here is go into your settings and you want to go over here into general and then go to accessibility. And you'll have to turn on a few different things. First thing is reduce motion. So toggle reduce motion on and then go into increase contrast and then turn on darken colors. You don't actually have to turn on reduce transparency, but those two options that I just selected, you have to have on if you want the icon labels to uh, stay gone or stay hidden. So now really all you have to do is just swipe up your control center and then swipe up your control center just like this and then double press on the home button to bring up the app switcher. Now when you go back to your springboard, you'll see that those icons right there or those icon labels are completely hidden. So you can throw these up into your springboard right here and then redo that process with all the other icons right here. So for instance, if we were gonna do the next four, we would just drag them down right here, hit the home button, and then we're gonna bring up the control center, hold it up, double press on the home button, and then go back to the springboard and you can see those are all hidden as well. Now what happens here, if you don't go into your settings and turn on darken colors as well as uh, reduce motion, then when you lock your device here, you're actually gonna get those icon labels back on those icons. But you can see right here that since we actually selected those and turned those toggles on, we still have those icon labels hidden. So if the icon labels do come back, then be sure to check those toggles. Now something else that we can do is hide the status bar. And I haven't figured out how to actually make this permanent. So if you guys figure out how to make this permanent, that would be really awesome because I like the status bar not to be there. It just makes everything look a whole lot cleaner. And this method is pretty similar to everything Apple Pro, the way that he uh, discovered how to do it. So if you guys want to check out his video, I'll put a link in the description below. But this method that I'm going to show you is just a little bit easier than uh, I think the way that he did it. So really all you have to do is just open up your app switcher and then hold down the power button. And then once you get that power to slide off button, just hit the double press of the home button again and it's going to hide the uh, status bar. So when you actually go into an application, it's actually going to repopulate that status bar. So you can see right there that the status bar is there. And then once we go back to the home screen, it goes away, but it actually will come back here shortly. But again, if you guys have figured out how to hide that status bar permanently, that would be really awesome. Just let me know. You can shoot me a tweet on uh, Twitter. So I went ahead and did the rest of those icons just to give you guys an idea of what that's going to look like without any icon labels here. Now, something else that you wanna keep in mind is you only want to have two pages on your device. Otherwise, once you swipe over to the third page, those icon labels are going to come back. And you can see I have several pages here, mostly just because I've been tinkering with this and I've had a lot of uh, different themes installed here. But you can see if I swipe over here and I swipe again, if we swipe back over, we have all of these uh, icon labels here. So you wanna keep your two pages on your device, otherwise when you swipe over to that third page, you're gonna lose these icon labels. So the next thing I wanna show you here is how to hide your dock as well as your folder. So it's actually just gonna hide the blur of the folder so you'll still see those little icons inside the folder here. So we're just gonna go into my, fo my photos and then we're gonna open up this picture right here. Now this is actually just a single black pixel. And when you apply that, iOS just doesn't know how to handle that because it can't blur one pixel. So that's why you get no blur on your home screen here. So if we go to our home screen, after we apply that, 
you can see that we don't have a blur around our folders and we don't have a blur around our doc. So the doc is hidden as well as that uh, folder right there. Now this will also customize your notifications on your, on your lock screen. So if we go to my lock screen here, and then let me go ahead and send myself a message. You can see here when I open that up, it's actually gonna make those notifications a whole lot darker. It's almost hard to read uh, if you do this. Now, you don't have to put this onto your, on your lock screen like I have. So if you don't like the darker notifications like this, then you don't have to have it. You don't have to put this on your, on your lock screen. You can just keep it on your home screen if you just wanna hide the dock and those folders. So let's go ahead and jump back here into my springboard. And the next thing I wanna show you here is iSkin. So what iSkin does is allow you to create these new applications that link to your stock applications, but they're themed. So they work just like applications, except they don't look like stock applications. So you can see here, for instance, that I have this theme installed, and you can see if I open up you know, YouTube, and it's actually going to open up YouTube. So the links to the stock applications still work just fine, the only issue you're going to see with this is that it opens up just a little bit slow. So you can see if I tap on this, there's a little bit of a lag time right there before it opens up the application. But other than that, you can still use these applications just like you normally would. Now, right now, what I have here, just so you guys know, is I have that black single pixel background. So I'm hiding uh, the dock right here. I don't have any folders or anything like that. So... I have that wallpaper and then I have this theme installed. So I'm gonna show you how to get this theme right now. So let's just go ahead and go into my Safari right here. And this is where you're actually going to get your theme. So you can see the different types of themes that you have right here. And you can see, uh, you can basically just go through here and decide which one that you want and tap on it. So I'm just gonna show you how I got uh, this theme that I have installed right now. So it's actually this one right here. So small, flat, minimal color. So if we tap on that, all you have to do is scroll down here to the bottom, and then you'll see application icons. So if we tap on that, you can see that there were 60 icons that we can choose from. And you have all of these icons right here. So the catch here is that you, you have to have the application installed that you're going to install the theme for. So you have to have BuzzFeed before you can actually use the BuzzFeed application. That makes sense, right? So you have to have contacts, which you should have already. You have to have Dropbox if you download the Dropbox application. Otherwise, when you tap on the themed Dropbox application, it's not going to work. It's not gonna be able to link to anything. So really all you have to do here is just tap on it, and then you can see that it checks it off. So that means that it's going to install this theme here, or this application. Now one thing you can do is if you wanna hide all the application labels like I have uh, right here, is you can just tap this little X and then there's no more icon label here. You can also change the name completely if you wanna type something in. So again, we just tap on Amazon, we get rid of that. Tap on Buzzfeed, get rid of that. Camera Plus. So we're not gonna have any icon labels on any of these. And we'll just do a few because I actually already have all of these. And it's very easy to install once you actually select all the applications that you want. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down here to the very bottom and then tap on install icons. So after you select all the icons that you want, tap on install icons, it's gonna bring you to uh, this install profile page. So you just wanna tap on install and then tap on install again, tap on install, and then it should go ahead and install all those applications onto uh, your device here. So if you swipe over here, you can see that the Amazon, Buzzfeed, Camera Plus, and whatever other one that I selected right here are all installed. So I only selected a couple of them just because I already have these applications installed. So that's basically how you get themed icons onto your device. Of course, I'll put the link in the description below for you guys to just click on so you guys can test this out for yourself. Now with this setup here, I took it a little bit further. So what I did here was I actually put in blank icons up here in order to give this effect where I have all my icons here at the bottom and then I have something presented up here. So I just basically made this wallpaper so that I could have something up here that I thought looked cool. So I can obviously add this wallpaper on Twitter as well. So if you guys want this wallpaper, I'll put it in the link in the description below. You guys can just click on it. It'll take you to the link on my Twitter page. But to see how this is actually set up, if we get into wiggle mode here, you'll notice that I do have all these icons up here at the top. So if we go ahead and tap on this to delete one, you can see that it screws up basically the entire thing. So what I need to do here is actually create a new icon 
that's quote unquote blank. Now it's not necessarily blank because what it's doing is matching the background. So you can see that all of these icons right here all match the background. So it makes it look like there's no icons there. So just to kind of show you exactly what I mean, let's go ahead and go into uh, Safari here. And we're gonna go to this website. Of course, again, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on, but then you wanna tap on create blank icons. So once you tap there, you're gonna tap on modify, and then you're going to wanna to upload your background photo. So to make sure that you have uh, the background picture, uh, all you wanna do here like, is get into wiggle mode, and then just swipe over until you have a blank page. And then you can take a screenshot, just like that, and then you can upload that screenshot uh, into right here. So we're gonna tap on choose file, and then we're gonna tap on photo library, tap on screenshots, and then upload that photo. So now at this point, it's going to use that background photo in order to create our clear icon. So we're gonna scroll down here and you can see that our background is back there. So when we create an icon, it's actually going to match what would normally be on the background right there. So this is the one that we wanna create because that's the one that we deleted. So this is a preview of the icon right here. So now what we wanna do is hit the save button and then we're gonna tap on add to home screen. So once we do that, we'll go ahead and tap add again and it should put that directly on our home screen. Of course, it's gonna put it in the wrong spot right down here. So what we wanna do is get into wiggle mode, bring it all the way up, and then you can see that that lines up the rest of those. So what I've done is I've continued to go back and back into Safari and create every single one of these icons. It does take a little bit of time, but it's literally just a couple of minutes out of your day to get this nice looking theme here. Of course, the possibilities are pretty much endless on how you could set this up. You could hide you know, every other row if you wanted to, every other column, or every other icon. Just however you wanna have it set up, you can do that. So I've just done it this way just because I think that uh, nice little graphic up there in the top looks pretty cool. So I went ahead and hid uh, just the top two rows right here. Again, if you guys want it, I'll put the link uh, for the wallpaper in the description below so you guys can just click on that. Now, if you like to use folders on your device and you wanna theme those as well, then what you can do in order to hide the label right here for your folders is go back to that same website that I was just at, and you may have seen it when I first tapped on uh, make blank icons or create blank icons. You can see set empty folder name. So if you just tap on this, all you have to do is tap on that in order to select the text here, and then we're going to copy it, and then jump back to our home screen here. We're gonna open this up, we're gonna get into wiggle mode, and then we're gonna paste that in. So we'll tap done, and now you can see we have no text under that icon or under that folder. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to get circle folders. Now this is another wallpaper trick, so it's really simple to install. All you have to do is just go to this website uh, right here, and there's actually quite a few uh, different wallpapers to choose from. So here are all the dark wallpapers that you can choose from, um, but you can also, if we go back here, you can see there's some sweet round folders, there's simple round folders, and these are basically just kind of uh, what type of wallpaper theme do you want. So I'm just gonna go with the dark round folders here, and then we're gonna go over here and scroll down. So this is really simple. All you wanna do is just tap and hold to tap on save image, and then go into your photos, scroll over here, and then apply that as your home screen wallpaper. So we'll set that as my home screen wallpaper, and you'll come here and you can see we have that circle folder. And this is basically, like I said, just a wallpaper trick, so there's no installation of anything other than the way these wallpapers are made. So I hope that gives you guys some opportunity to tweak out and theme your device. Of course, it will take a little bit of time uh, to get all that situated and get it the way you want it, but if you want your device to look a whole lot cooler than stock iOS, then this is several ways to do it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out. Of course, if you guys want to stay up to date with everything Apple as well as everything jailbreak and anything else that I want to cover, then be sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.